Well, it's early afternoon, and we are on a about a 30-mile dirt road, hard-packed washboard, on our way to Leslie Gulch, and to prove how far out in the middle of nowhere we are, I just want to show you guys where we're at right now and we haven't even gotten to this place yet and we've been driving for uh, an hour or so so take a look at this this is where we are down here in the southeastern corner of Oregon near the Idaho border basically in the middle of no man's land. It's amazing how much of the Pacific states are totally void of anything except cattle, rattlesnakes, and coyotes. Whoa! Well, if this hasn't shaken every nut and bolt loose in my RV, I'll have to say it was a hell of a well-built vehicle. I just hope going out doesn't do that. Well, we finally made it to, it looks like the top of the slope here, and we're about ready to head down into the gully. Let me walk over here to uh, where the sign is that tells you what Leslie Gulch is all about. Who's it named for? Here is the sign. Leslie Gulch, named for Silver City pioneer Hiram Leslie, who was killed by lightning here in 1882. These colorful formations of volcanic ash have been spectacularly carved by erosion. I don't know if Kate's got her eyes closed or she's just looking out to see the sights. Sarah's down here. She's just staying right next to me. Okay, well let's uh, keep on going. It's getting narrower and narrower. Man, we are going so deep into this gully and these cliffs are starting to tower way above us like those there. It's hard to see what you want to see and still keep your eyes on the road so you don't go off into the ditch or into the rocks on the other side. Whoa. It's like something out of Planet of the Apes or something. Oh, look at those. Man, it's like, like being on another planet. This is awesome. Oh, area subject to flash flooding. Oh, that's nice to know. Whoa, look at that thing. Looks like somebody just planted it there. I always imagine what it must have been like for the pioneers that first came and saw these. I gotta stop here and look at this better. Whoa, if I can stop without vibrating down the highway. That is amazing. All the pinnacles in that. Oh wow. Let me look out the driver's window. And it looks like somebody just stuck them in the ground like that in a row. All kinds of formations. Oh, 
hope I can piece this all together for my video of this place so you guys can enjoy it as much as I enjoy being here showing it to you. They're almost like stone monolithic monsters that somebody just stuck in the ground upright. Are you okay? You're not scared, are you, girl? You look like you're holding on for dear life. Sarah, what do you think down there? Sarah, are you just, you're just hiding your head. I just hope this rig holds them together. Look at that. Man, them things are monstrous. Hundreds of feet, a thousand feet high. There's just so many odd, strange rock formations and stuff out here. It is just weird. You know, you wonder what caused all these. Well, where did this ash come from? I don't see any volcanoes around here. I'll also look that up. Well, there's the uh, huts down here. Doesn't look that busy. That's good. I like it. Here's the campsite. Oh, not bad. Everybody gets a shelter. We got a bathroom. All kinds of odd things. Well, I think I'm going to take this one right up here. There's only three left, and there's another guy here pulling the one, so that leaves one left. So I'm just going to turn this thing around, back right into here. Well, we got camp set up. Got my fan going. Back open up with the bug net on. And the bed partially made, so we can all lay on it and cool out in the breeze. Ooh, it turned out hot. I think I finally found the suns hiding down here in Leslie Gulch. The uh, net bag there with the avocados. <laughs> what a disaster. This road was so violent that when I got back there and checked on them, I had one that had become glockamole smashed against the wall. <laughs> that was a yucky mess to clean up. So I might change my mind about have that thing hanging up there. Especially when I'm on insanely crazy roads like this was. Because uh, I keep hearing things going thud, 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 thud. And I really can't do nothing when I'm driving. I really can't see back here. But I have a mirror so I get some idea of what's swinging around. But I didn't think it was going to change the uh, avocados and the guacamole. Especially in the net. But anyway, okay, well, I'm going to take a little trail here up above the campsites and uh, show you a view looking down on where we're at. The girls are crazy. They're having a great time. <laughs> so let me go on a little hike here and I'll show you an eagle's view of the place. Well, here's the video of the campsite down here. There's a trail going up to that canyon you can take. And each little campsite here has a picnic table and a little cover. A nice bathroom over there. There's a girls down there in our white dusty van. And the route continues down on the left here to uh, the lake, lake uh, whatever. <laughs> but we have some pretty fascinating sights right around us here. The 
This is quite the BLM campground. I'm glad I made it. You can tell my uh, little RV down there is covered in dust, about an inch thick it looks like, but the girls are doing fine. Mmm, delicious. Cooked it up just right. So tender and juicy. I'm going to have to take a bite here. Let's see. Ooh. Look at that, just right. Mmm, mmm. That is one good, one good piece of meat. Mm-hmm. See if I can get me one more. Yeah, here it is. Mmm. After a hard day, Oh, a delicious T-bone steak is awesome. I'm going to finish it. Bye. Well, once again, I forgot. When I go on these trips and I take all these dirt roads I usually go on to find these places out in the middle of nowhere, the eggs always suffer. And I did it again. I should bring my little yellow container I use for backpacking that holds eggs. I forgot it. And I had another egg explosion in my small little refrigerator here. And <clears throat> because it's so small, any explosions involving eggs is a disaster. So I'm going to wait till tomorrow morning or late tonight when it gets cooler. Unload it and clean it out. But let me show you what an exasperating mess this is. Okay, <clears throat> you ready? It's a horrible sight. You might want to turn away. One, one dead egg, two dead eggs, three dead eggs. There's a survivor, survivor. So we got three dead eggs, maybe more, may not, might be just a shell of them left. But it dribbles down here. Oh, a lovely mess. It's still oozing. All the way down here. And puddles up down there. So, get your head out of there, Kate. Oh. So, once again, disaster strikes the poor little eggs. You know what? I think I'm just going to mix them all up and put them in a bottle and take the bottle with me because this egg in the uh, egg tray ain't working for me that's a second disaster i've had with these darn little things so oh well well it's early in the morning and we're heading out to other sites and driving out of this gulch is as spectacular as it was driving in Ooh, this is quite the place. Coming into and driving out early in the morning as the sun gets above the peaks here and lightens up all the monoliths, formations on both sides. It's a totally different view going out of here than it is coming in, and it is well worth the trip down to camp and explore. So let me share some of the views as we leave Leslie Gulch here early in the morning and just be amazed at the fantastic things that nature can do. Okay?